Shiro Utsuri, one of the most mislabeled isopod in the hobby right now. And in this video, we'll try to sort things out using science. Number 16, Nesodilo species Shiro Utsuri. Definitely Nesodilo genus, but not quite Nesodilo archangeli. So hold on to your wigs. Few months ago, Shiro Utsuri was being labeled as Kuberi species, but there are new informations about this species, and we will discuss it in this video. So let's jump in to taxonomy right away. It belongs to family Armadillidae, which means that the telson is an hourglass shape. For the genus, it was mislabeled as Cuberis. Cuberis' distinguishing characteristic is a posterior cleft or groove in the edge of its lateral part of its first thoracic segment, sometimes in the second also. Like in this photo, this is Cuberis marina. So this is what Shiro Utsuri's thoracic segments look like. There is a visible cleft on almost all the segments. Therefore, without a doubt, it's not Kuberis. So what is it then? Since family Armadillidae has more than 80 genera, this could be hard to figure out. Then a breakthrough came few months ago when I was chatting with David, a friend that I met through the hobby. He said he saw a post on Reddit about Shiro Utsuri that it could belong to genus Nesodilo. There was even a distinguishing characteristic and a diagram in the thread. So this gives me the last piece of the puzzle to solve the problem of which of the 80 genera of Armadillidae it belongs to. I've looked closely at the diagram and noticed two names, Deo Sojon and Do Hyun Kwon. I did some more digging and I came up with a scientific paper that they wrote back in 2009 titled The Two New Species of Genus Nesodilo from the Philippines. In the paper, aside from discovering two new species of Nesodilo in my home country, the two zoologists mentioned the distinguishing characteristic of the genus Nesodilo. Nesodilo is characterized by the semicircular ventral lobes on perianal epimera 1 to 3. So based on that taxonomic key, it's genus Nesodilo. But I was actually late in the renaming party. Some hobbyists here in the United States already assigned the genus and the species too. They call it Nesodilo Archangeli. But since I came from a zoology background with my masteral thesis in taxonomy, but not isopod, it's still invertebrates, it's planktons. I did what I learned from school. I reached out to the leading isopodologist in the genus Nesodilo. His name is Dr. Do Hyun Kwon from Inje University in South Korea. Yes, he is one of the guy who wrote the same scientific paper that we were discussing earlier about Nesodilo and discovered two new species. I corresponded with him through emails. We discussed the Shiro Utsuri isopod. He verified that it belongs to genus Nesodilo. He also mentioned in his email that it could not belong to species Archangeli. And I asked him again to be sure and his response was, Archangeli was never described again and the description and figures by Berhoff it's not enough for safe identification. And this is coming from the leading authority in genus Nesodilo in Asia where it's originally found and collected from. So for now it is just Nesodilo species Shiro Utsuri 
And unless you have the scientific paper by Verhoff in 1926 describing the species and its distinguishing characteristic, that's definitely Archangeli. Please feel free to share it. Just for curiosity's sake, how did the hobby came up with Nesodilo Archangeli? Well, I trace it back to a website called iNaturalist. So iNaturalist is a apps to record observation of plants and animals in nature using photos. It's a very effective in collecting information about global database of biodiversity. But for proper identification of an unknown species, I have two issues with this. Number one, pictures without the actual specimen are not enough for correct identification. And number two, everyone can contribute to these apps. It's like Wikipedia. In my opinion, somehow it diminishes the work of zoologists who went to school and spend years studying an organism just to be an authority on that specific organism. And by the way, that picture is not Nesodilo Archangeli, that's Cobaris Marina. Now let's talk about the setup. It's on a 6 quarts shoebox container with ventilation. The substrate is moist and deep with decaying leaves and wood. Shiro Utsuri isopod is named after a Japanese koi fish. It's actually not from Japan. It was reported that this isopod was collected from Taiwan. I think that's how the mislabeling started. Verhoff wrote a scientific paper in 1926 called Isopoden aus Formosa, describing a new species called Nesodilo archangeli. And Taiwan was called Formosa in the late 20th century. So when people realized that this isopod is Nesodilo, they automatically assumed that this is the Archangeli that Verhoff was describing in 1926. Actually, there's two more Kuber species, the Red Tiger and the Red Edge, that are most likely to be Nesodilo too. This isopod is very active, unlike the rubber duckies. I've noticed that they are also very sensitive to light. When it comes to care, this is a very easy isopod to take care of. Just like the Red Edge and the Red Tiger. Somehow, without any proper classification by science, we can tell that they are all related to one another and very distant to the rubber ducky group. They also reproduce faster than the rubber ducky and they will take cuddle bone as their calcium source. They also do not require any special care, unlike the duckies. If you have both of these species, the rubber ducky and the shiro utsuri, you can tell that they are not closely related to one another. If you have any armadillidium species, the setup and care is pretty much the same. This one just requires a little moisture in their substrate. This isopod is a very forgiving isopod. They will tolerate almost anything except dryness. As for the price, I paid a lot of money when I got this isopod last October 2020. Probably that's why they keep marketing this as Kuberi species. Maybe a lot of breeders will not like this video. My point is, this is not Kuberis. Yes, it is from Asia, but this isopod reproduces fast. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new with this video. And if you like it, please like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot.